Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where we're here at Cabana Bay Beach Resort at Universal Orlando Resort in Florida. Oh, we are so excited to be here. So in this video we're going to take you for a tour around the Cabana Bay Beach Resort and we're also going to show you our room with a Volcano Bay view. Oh, the view of the volcano is really nice from the rooms and yeah, we've never stayed here before. First time staying at this hotel which is always really exciting. Seen so much about it, had some walks around here in the past but never stayed which is awesome. I think for us it's just so exciting to actually be staying on site, it's just so lovely. Oh it is indeed, but yeah come and join us, we're going to have a bit of an explore around, have a look around the pool area, some of the restaurants, you've got bowling here as well and of course show you our wonderful room. It's a gorgeous September day, the sun is shining and I tell you what we're just so happy to be here right now. Look at the entrance here to Cabana Bay, it's very nice and you know the theme of this hotel is kind of like 1950s, 1960s American beach resorts and yeah I do like the style of it, at night you've got like all the neon round here, it is lovely and yeah the hotel opened back in 2014, the first phase and then they kind of added more from that but yeah it's very nice and of course if you stayed at any of the hotels before in Florida you'll know they are huge you've got a lot of facilities here lots to see lots to do quite a large parking lot out the front and yeah we're gonna go and make our way inside the lobby just over here and here we are welcome to the lobby very nice in here like a grand kind of atrium She's fantastic and of course at the moment it is Halloween Horror Night so we've got a vlog coming up from there. <laughs> I love Halloween. And that was one of our reasons for wanting to stay on site wasn't it? Definitely, it's just the convenience of after Halloween Horror Nights is finished coming back to your resort it's just so quick and convenient. Yeah and we'll talk about the transport options from this hotel um, a little bit later on. Yeah that's all the reception check-in area. When we checked in last night really efficient, took about five minutes to check in which was great. Our member of staff was great like getting a map and giving us all the information it was fantastic. It might look really busy there but they've got loads of staff on all the way across which is brilliant but yeah I do like this atrium all the palm trees just there in the middle as well Some nice music playing in the background as well and yeah our rooms are in that direction but firstly we'll have a look out the back here and you're actually getting our first reactions to this because we've not actually seen outside here yet so let's go and have a look oh look at this I really like the chilled out relaxed vibe here already it is very nice and yeah, this is one of the two pool areas, but also staying here, you've got direct access into Volcano Bay, which is the water park. But yeah, here's a map of the resort. So yeah, of course, we started the vlog just outside here. And so yeah, you've got all the lobby area. And as you can see from the marker, we're standing here now in this kind of courtyard area. And you've got three main buildings around the side of accommodation. And yeah, there's a lot of accommodation here. It's a massive resort. And yeah, you can see kind of all these different buildings all the way around which is very nice, you've got the castaway building there, uh, like Starlight up there at the top, and also the Thunderbird building all around at this side. I do like the kind of 1950s, 1960s theme that we've got going on here. So we're going to start off with we'll a little walk around this pool area and show you that. And then of course we'll make our way kind of back through, look at some of the facilities, and then head down to this side, which is where we are staying. See, you've got all these different buildings here. And of course, because we paid that little bit extra for a Volcano Bay view room, we're actually down here on the fourth floor looking out. It doesn't actually show Volcano Bay, but it's like, it's right there. So obviously you've got the two towers that offer views and then also kind of across here looking out. So yeah, we're gonna show you that uh, awesome view. But yeah, it's a massive resort, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't realize how big the resort is. I bet they've got a lot of room. Yeah, because I don't think you've actually been walked around a lot no, of this I and seen it. I haven't been around here before, so it's lovely, isn't it? It is, yeah. And this is my first time kind of looking out at this pool area and seeing it all. And yeah, I believe you just scan your room card just down here on the gates and that gets you in to the pool area and as you can see pool hours are 9am till 10pm at the moment and of course it wouldn't be Cabana Bay Beach Resort without it actually having its own little beach down here that's nice dip your toes in the sands <laughs> oh this is lush around here nice pool area I love the retro vibe like, look at the tower just over there there is also a small slide as you can see at the swimming pool as well nothing too major just a small little slide and what I've noticed is there's loads of sun loungers here as well. I mean, we're filming this on a morning, so maybe a lot of people are at the park making the most of the early entry. But still, loads of loungers, and also you've got the private ones that I presume you can hire down there at the back, because they are kind of blocked off. Yeah, cabana reservations. This is really nice. All the palm trees. And yeah, it's really classed as like a moderate resort here at Universal. Of course, you've got the more luxurious ones, and then you've got the more budget options. And so yeah, with this one, kind of like in, in the middle I would say with Cabana Bay 
It doesn't feel like it though, it's very nice. And yeah, so you kind of got the courtyard, it expands all the way around. And yeah, look at the pool area here. That is lovely, quite a large pool area. 0.9 meters depth down at this end as well, perfect for the kids. Just a really nice aesthetic about it all, very colorful. So many lounges all around here, and like I say, this is just one of the pool areas. This is actually the smaller of the two, because the other one has got its own lazy river. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, we're going to check it out. Area for the kids over here as well, like your splash pads, or your water features. Lots of interactives as well. And yeah, at night, you've got kind of all the neon lighting around here as well, like up there on the top of the buildings. Of course, that's the Starlight building. Are you hot, Charlotte? Florida humidity has hit me. When we landed yesterday, it was quite cooler than usual. Today, I feel so <laughs> Yeah, this weather is perfect. Like okay. normally at this time of year, you get a lot of rain, but uh, yeah, the schedule is looking pretty good this week. So yeah, hopefully it's going to be nice. I like how these ones are just over the sand. That's cool. That's obviously your access up to the slide just up there as well. Yeah, nice how they've got the, the little slide available down here. And you've also got a bar area just over here too, so we'll check that out. Oh, and there's restrooms out here by the pool as well, so that can come in quite handy. Hot tub. Yeah, small little hot tub just over there as well, the spa. Yeah, it's a massive area out here, and that's the thing when you come to America, you get the scale, don't you? Everything's done on a massive scale. So that's Atomic Tonic, <laughs> I like the name of that one. That's quite awesome. Nice pool area for the pool bar. Bear in mind, if you are coming, you are only allowed one alcoholic drink. You get given a wristband and you're only allowed one. Oh, what per day is yeah, that? Oh, that's something. interesting. You're only allowed one alcoholic beverage per wristband. Keeps it more family friendly, I, I suppose. Yeah, it keeps, stops it getting out of control. And you've got the Atomic Grill this here. It's closed at the moment, but I'd imagine that'll be open at lunchtime. So yeah, there is food available down here by the pool area. But yeah, this is lovely. Really nice around here. What we'll do now is head back inside the lobby. To the AC. To the AC. <laughs> <laughs> and show you some of the facilities on the inside. And of course, we'll head down to the other pool area then. So as much as it's nice and chilled out around here, coming to Florida can be quite a busy time. You always have a lot going on. So if you want to, you can just come back here and chill out like Charlotte is. Oh, this is <laughs> come on, we're only on day one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do like this. Of course, you can move them around and spread things out. It's lovely. Back inside the lobby, and there is also another bar in here as well, which is good to see. You can see the opening times there, 1 p.m. till midnight. That's the Swizzle Lounge. And yeah, with it being Halloween Horror Nights, you got the Halloween backdrop there, which is brilliant. Look at all the pumpkins there and all the lights. That is awesome. Look at this fantastic photo opportunity. The theming is just brilliant. It's really nice, this is. It's lovely. It adds to it as well, doesn't it? Having some Halloween theming. Definitely. In the and these are great with the lights in as well. They work so effective. Of course, you've got the Mr. Carlos established 1950. Aww. Over here, we've got the best selection of pumpkins. We've got a gift shop just here, though, Oh, we? yes, definitely get me in there. Should we have a look? Yes. And here it is, the Universal Gift Shop. Quite a large shop, actually, for in a hotel resort. A lot of the time in resorts you just have a small shop, but no, not here at Cabana Bay. Very nice. Got all your Harry Potter collection, of course. $139. Nice big shop. I wonder if we've got any Cabana Bay merchandise. And of course, you've got all your Universal Studios branded merchandise in here as well. I do love this classic shirt. I mean, when we get into the parks, we'll have a good look around the shops as well. Don't you worry about that. That's what it's all about for sure. She loves the merch as well, don't you? I do love this retro kind of vibe here as well. It's very nice. I do love how they've got the individual merchandise here for Cabana Bay as well. That's fantastic. $35. Come around this side. You've got some t-shirts over here as well. Also at $35. Quite nice. A bit more subtle that one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's we nice. do like that. $35. You've got the mugs just up there as well. Look at the dressing gowns. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah. So you can go back to your room or walk down to the pool and dress again. $79.95. All the big prices come out though when you come to Orlando. Yeah, of course, you know, you get some great quality here. However, you pay the price for it. That's what I always say with Florida, but I do love coming out here. It's always great. Yeah, I do love the merch. Quite a nice subtle hoodie with Cabana Bay on there too. Not like you really need a hoodie though when you're over here in Florida. Not this time of year anyway. <laughs> Not for us Brits, we love it. Or you kind of marvel merchandise around here as well. 
Yeah, we've got quite a large selection actually, especially with it being a hotel shop. And what's also really handy is the fact that they sell all these sorts of medical supplies and things that you might need as well. You can get a mini sewing kit just there, look at that. Contact lens case, all these things that you think, oh, we're not gonna need that, but you never know. Yeah, all sorts around here. Medical supplies and thermometer just down there. Yeah, there's all sorts, it's good. I do like how they've got all this around here just in case you do need it. You got all sorts of fanny packs down in here as well, which is good. Some other bags, suitcase down there, towels, which is great. Yeah, there's a good selection in here. If you've forgotten something, you know, you could come in here and pretty much get anything that you need, which is fantastic. All your swimwear down here as well. Flip flops, and of course you're gonna pay more somewhere like this and go somewhere like Target or Walmart, but it's the convenience of having this all on site, isn't it? Just come and get it from there here. Yeah, and if you have forgot to pack something, it's not a big kind of rush down, is it, in an Uber or whatever, or in your hire car, to go and get something down at Target. You know, you can just kind of get it all in here. And we've got some of the HHM merch in here too. Of course, we'll be covering that in the Halloween Horror Nights vlog. Yeah, nice selection in here, living the dream. Oh, I like that quote. Living the dream here on Theme Park Worldwide. So just to kind of put it into perspective where we are, of course we came in through the side entrance, but yeah, that's just off down to the lobby, down in that direction there. Do you like the lighting fixtures in here? They're yeah, great. And of course you've got a Starbucks coffee just over here as well. Wouldn't be a trip to Florida without a good Starbucks, would it? This is nice, around here. And yeah, also for Halloween Horror Nights, they've got a special little walkthrough that's open two till 10, located on the second floor of the lobby. So yeah, I'll have to check that out later on. Chucky's Twisted Playground photo opportunity. So we'll give that a go. And of course, you've also got a bowling alley here as well. And that's open from 12. So yeah, we'll check that out a little bit later on. Lunch, dinner and bowling. So yeah, I do like how they've got that. Galaxy Bowl, all in the hotel itself. Of course, you've got loads of facilities down in the parks and City Walk, but the fact they've actually got the bowling here as well is fantastic. And yeah, Starbucks is down there at the back. Some more restrooms just down here. If we continue on, walking around, exploring this hotel for the first time, seeing it all. It is lovely just doing an on-site stay though. Yeah, there's a look out to the kind of central fountain and entrance sign that we saw at the start. And yeah, we're gonna have a little look in here now. So we've got the Bay Liner Diner, and the opening hours are great on this at the moment. So I don't know if it's like this all the time or it's just because of Halloween Horror Nights, but 7 a.m. till 3 a.m. you can come in here. Like, what about that for opening hours? Well, that's absolutely brilliant. Like, if you are coming out from HHN, you can just come and get something to eat. Like, I don't think it'll be open until that time outside of Halloween Horror Nights. I'm not too sure. But yeah, look at this. Big food court. Probably doing breakfast maybe at the moment. But yeah, look at this. Fantastic. Lots of grab and go options down here, which is good. Oh, here we go. We're getting good now, Charlotte. <laughs> All the donuts down here. Build your own six pack just over there. <laughs> it's a good one. Oh, I see. You can get like the little uh, little box and kind of fill it up, mix and match. Pastries, drinks down here. You got sandwiches and salads. Oh, yeah. so that's the thing. If you don't want to always have hot food on the parts, you, know, you can get a sandwich just in here. I mean, what seven dollars fifty plus tax for your sandwiches? Mixed salad, four ninety nine. Yeah, not too bad. Chocolate cake down there, five fifty. That looks pretty good. Oh, look at those. Happy birthday, cupcakes. Oh, I mean, it's not my birthday, but I might have one of them at some point. <laughs> yeah, you get to, like your little fruit cups down here as well, 420. Salmon roll, just there. If you fancy that sushi, you can even get. For the kids, you got some milk, some bottles of water just over there as well. Small sticks as well. Oh, that's good, isn't it? I wonder if they've actually got somewhere for doing that here at the resort then. Maybe they have like a fire pit. And Hershey's chocolate, it's not my favourite, I'm not going to lie, I don't really like Hershey's, but it is available. Some other snacks just in here as well, some Lay's chips. These are also good, so these are your resort mugs, so you can buy these for the you stay, which is $19, and you can refill them up for a limited time for you. And that's just at the resort. That is just at the resort, yeah. yeah but look how cute it is, it's a Halloween one. Yeah, I like how it's a Halloween branded one. Uh, that's great. They're always good at doing that sort of thing over here, aren't they, for events? But yeah, that's not too bad, is it? There you go. Just do one day or your entire stay. Yeah, you can see the prices for that just up there. Oh, it's busy in here. Everybody getting the breakfast before they head onto the parks. Pancakes just over there. Hey, yeah, normally international eats you can see there when it's not breakfast, and also pizza available in here as well. I think you can order pizza 
all the time as well up to your room from what we've seen in yeah, the room. Yeah, we've got a little card in the room and you can scan it and get to pizza delivered. I do like this in here though, it's a bit more like informal isn't it in here, which I like. Instead of it being too kind of formal. She's good. Oh, loads of fruits over here, that's nice. Big fruit selection all the way down. Got some bananas just over there. That's good. It's great in here, the healthy spot. Got the deli over here too. Yeah, later on we'll kind of we'll nip in here when it's on the main menu. Obviously, it's breakfast at the moment. And croissants over there. Breakfast flatbed wrap, 9.50. Croissants, 4.50. Another grab and go section over here too. That's nice, isn't it? That's so cute. For Halloween, quite a big area all the way around here. Yeah, you got loads. This is fantastic in here. Yeah, we'll nip in later on when we come back and show you like the bowling and that sort of thing when it's open. We'll uh, show you what the food's like in here later. And what's great is you've got this huge area to eat your food around here. Of course, if you want to just grab and go, take it on the bus to the park or walk or however you're getting down to the parks, you could do or you can just sit in here and eat it. And this is very nice in here. What I like about this space is it's very large. It's got lots of seating. And I do like as well how you've got the panoramic windows letting in a lot of natural light over from the side. You've got the big screens as well, kind of playing old um, like cartoons and that sort of thing, which is really nice. Just kind of adds to the vibe in here. There's me vlogging on the wall. <laughs> Just over there. <laughs> yeah, and you've got like your refill stations in here, Coke Freestyle available as well. I think we're going to head down that way now and go and check out the other pool area. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you this in here. It's very nice. Well, this is a nice little touch that I didn't realise they did. The poolside movie. Join us by the pool for our nightly movie. And then it's got the ones for the week just on here. They're like Mario just there, Hunger Games, Jurassic Park. Oh, I love it. That's nice. Yeah, we'll head out this way. We're going to check it out. Another huge area. It's a massive resort, this is. Look at this. Beautiful. I do like things like all the signs as well. Just everything's been thought about. You know, you've got the name of all like the different buildings. And we've got the music pumping out here as well. Oh, and there's the fire pit. Ah, so there you go. You can get the s'mores and you can do them down here on the fire pit at night. I thought I could smell burning. Another fire pit just over there too. And yeah, of course, you've got the map again just over here. And yeah, give you an idea where we are now. So we kind of walked all the way around this area. We've kind of come through in this direction and come down to this side here now. And yeah, you've got all these other different buildings. And of course, we're down here at the side of the Americana looking out at Volcano Bay. Well, yeah, this is nice. More fire pits, which is really good. I love the vibe of this hotel. Really chilled out, relaxed atmosphere. It's very nice. And that is the thing when you're staying on site. Like you don't always want to be in the parks. It's nice for us because we've been to Florida quite a bit now to actually come and stay on these resorts and come and enjoy some of the hotel facilities and just take it all in. Yeah, it's nice with the music down here and loads of sun lounges. And as we walk down the pathway here, of course, Volcano Bay, the water park here at Universal, comes into view. And yeah, you get a great idea on the scale of that from down here. Looks fantastic. And it's a nice backdrop to this hotel as well. And yeah, you've got all these other different buildings. And then you've got the two towers. So you've got one tower just here, which is looking out at Volcano Bay, but it's more off to the side. And then you've got the tower off to the left, which is kind of head on, looking out at the volcano. And then of course, we're staying at the end of this block on level four just over there. And yeah, if we look back this way, some more of the rooms. And that's the thing, if you're staying in any of these rooms here, you're gonna have a nice view looking out at this pool area. And yeah, this pool looks bigger than the other one. And there's a lazy river as well. Gonna have a little explore just up here. So nice just seeing places for the first time. The Americana building over at the back. Yeah, a big pool area all the way around. 1.5 meter depth at this part, which isn't too bad. That's just nice. Lovely pool area. Lots of parasols as well, which is good. All the palm trees, which just adds to the beachside kind of ambiance of it as well. It's very nice, but it's like this now. You can come down here, it's what, 11 o'clock in the morning? Loads of sun lounges, even right next to the pool, which is fantastic. I don't know if that's just the time of year that we've come, or maybe, you know, because they have got so many, it doesn't get too busy. You know, you've got the uh, restrooms over here as well. And a view looking at the other tower. Oh, I do think it's nice how they've got a lazy river here as well. Look at this. Yeah, it kind of winds all the way around this side. All the rocks, 
all the palm trees, beautiful atmosphere. However, you do need to pay for rings to go in there, or you can swim if you want to, of course. They start at about $9, but they do go up to $17. Depending on the uh, rings that you want just there. But yeah, you can see they're available down here in kids' sizes, as they say, and these are for the adults just here. But you could probably fit in one of those ones, I reckon. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Yeah, I do think that's a little bit cheeky charging extra um, for the rings. But of course, you can just sw swim around in there, no extra charge if you want to as well. There is another bar area just down here as well, and also an eatery that I'd imagine will open at lunchtime. So yeah, they've got loads of food options here, and that's the thing, you don't have to leave the pool area as well, which is very nice. Hot tub just over there too. So we can continue on down towards our room. Looking forward to showing you this. The view is fantastic of Volcano Bay, it really is. And yeah, you can kind of go out of any of these just here. Nice bit of uh, music on yeah, for you as well. Yeah, a bit of a dance. <laughs> That's the thing, the music's not too loud either around no, here. Good. It's more just background ambience, Sometimes isn't it? It can be a bit too loud. Yeah, it can. We'll uh, head out this way and we'll follow this pathway round. Here we go. So yeah, if we head up this way, you can get to our room. Of course, you don't need to actually walk all the way around here to get to our room. You can walk all through the building. I just thought we'd come this way where there's already been here. And as you can see, this is also where you've got that exclusive entrance into Volcano Bay. So yeah, if you're staying kind of in any of the rooms down here, you'd kind of walk down in this direction for us because we're already staying down here anyway. Uh, and then literally we're even closer, which is great. Some nice themed rock work around here and the whole hotel is very well landscaped as well. All the palm trees and yeah, this is the Lazy River area. So as you can see, it's quite big and kind of spans all the way around here. Plenty of lifeguards around as well. Yeah, so guys, it's a huge lazy river. It literally comes all the way around the back and around this way too. I didn't realize how big that was gonna be. Oh, that's fantastic. Now this is the building that we're staying in. So yeah, we're up on the fourth floor with a great view of Volcano Bay. And yeah, that's the thing. You can pay a little bit extra and have the view. And I say a little bit, it's not actually um, that much more um, than a normal room. It's definitely worth it um, for the view, especially when you see it. Uh, now, of course, when you do pay for that, you'll either be in the tower just off there. Like I say, that is more off to the right-hand side and isn't directly looking at the volcano, but I'm sure the views are great from in there too. I think the best place of views will probably be this tower here um, because yeah, that's directly head on looking out at the volcano. And of course, we are literally just up here looking out too. So I think, um, you know, we've probably got a better view in this room than what I've over in that tower. However, I think the ultimate view will probably be in that tower um, just over there. But yeah, let's go and head inside, have a look at the guest corridors and up to our room. He looks like he's enjoying the lazy river just over there. That'll be me in a couple of days, that will. <laughs> You've also got some other facilities here as well. We've got guest laundry, so that's where we'll be doing our washing, which is really convenient. Yeah, it's worked out quite we'll nice for us. Yeah, should we? Well, yeah, we're going to have a look. Yeah, yeah, why not? Let's have a look down here. You've got ice vending as well. It's a big thing in America. Oh, it, back home in those holes, you don't really get it, but over here, it's a big thing. Let's look at the guest corridors. Very nice. Carpets just down here as well. Very colourful. It's actually upstairs on level three, we've just found out the guest laundry, so we're gonna head up that way into the lifts. Not really any theming or anything in the lift here, but it's kind of standard, isn't it, with the, the Yeah, theme. maybe we could have had like a vinyl across the back. Yeah, I think some surfboards and stuff like that might have added to it, just in here, but uh, here we go, heading up. Oh, look at this, very nice. I do love the light fixtures up there too. That is great, and of course you've got all these nice posters around. And here's a view looking out over the other parts of the resort. Yeah, oh, there's Velocicoaster's top hat just over there. Oh, yeah. oh, love that. And yeah, of course, you've got lots of hotels here. Right opposite is Aventura, which is the big tower that we can see just there. And up on the top, they've actually got a rooftop bar and restaurants, which is very nice. And then you've got Sapphire Falls just over there too. And I have stayed in Sapphire Falls and it's very nice. It's definitely a great hotel that I recommend. And of course, you're there on the water taxi route as well, but we'll talk about the transport options, uh, of course, a little bit later on in this. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the view from this part. And here it is on the third floor, the guest laundry area. So as you can see, you've also got some vending machines in here as well. That's very handy. Ice dispenser just over here. Here's the laundry. Oh, here we go. It's got a little waiting area for you over there. And some, some kids' socks just over there. You can pay on card as well, which is good. That's handy. Is it $3 there, is it? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. $3, what, for the washer and then $3 yeah. for the dryer? So you've got four washers and then 
Four dryers, that's really good. Yeah, so it's like six dollars to do a full wash, not too bad that at all really, is it? Then it's got a change machine as well, which is good, so it'll change it into coins and stuff. I do like how you can just pay contactless on so those. Do I. That's really handy. Keep showing you these carpets because I think they're really nice. And they're very colourful inside here too. Like I said, the overall aesthetic of the hotel is great. As we come out just here. Oh, look at this. This gives you a bit of an idea on the view from our room. We're a little bit higher up than this on the next level. And of course, we've got a great view of the volcano. But yeah, look at this fantastic shot down the pool area. And also the lazy river. So yeah, you can see it kind of spans all the way down the back just here, which is fantastic. You've got all the nice rock work theme in there too, which is beautiful. The continental building just opposite there as well. I just really like how it's designed this hotel. And just whilst we're back in the lift here, you can actually see all the different food options that they've got here, which is fantastic. You, know, you can see all those, they've got a shake place there as well, which is great, I'll have to check that out. I do like how many options that there is. Yeah, if we come around this way and to the right, that's gonna lead round to our room. Yeah, corridors are great. And another look at the lovely carpets down here as well. And let's knock on and see if there's anybody inside. Oh. Hello. Hey, and here's Charlotte. Hello, oh, welcome. look at this. Welcome to Cabana Base. Yeah, this is just a standard room. I mean, look at this for a standard room. It's very nice and colorful in here. It's large, it's got loads of storage, and of course, it's got that fantastic view. We've been talking about it a lot, so I'm gonna go straight in and show you this. But so yeah, look at this standard room with a brilliant view. Look at this, wow. You got the volcano right there, which is amazing. And yeah, I'll give you a zoom in looking out over that. I mean, that is incredible, isn't it? It's to so sit here and look at that and just chill out in the window is gorgeous, it really is. And of course, yeah, we're gonna be visiting Volcano Bay. Not been there since 2019. So yeah, it's gonna be nice to return. We'll have a good vlog on the way for you. And of course, yeah, the volcano itself is an impressive piece of theming. And also it lights up at night as well. One thing to point out, I mean, we did just have the night here last night uh, before coming to uh, film this video. And of course, we're staying now for another seven nights, so eight total. I did notice this morning, there is some quite loud sound effects playing um, from over at the volcano. So worth bearing in mind, if you are coming here, um, you do get some sound effects. And yeah, that's one of the other towers just over there. So you can see where I'm coming from. If you're in that tower, you are gonna have more of a side-on view um, looking at the volcano. But still, I'm sure that's very nice. And I reckon the best volcano bay views are probably in the tower just over to the left-hand side, which is next to us. Maybe a little bit higher up where you can see all the wave pool as well would be fantastic. But uh, now we've been here and seen it, if we stay here again in the future, which I definitely would, um, I'd probably uh, recommend uh, a higher floor and uh, request it over there. But uh, what's great, over here is you got a nice view of all the palm trees and also I'm um, looking down at the lazy river as well you can see the main pool off to the right so yeah it's lovely and the good thing is the placement as well these oh, seats it's just so nice I like sitting here and watch people coming down the drop slide are you going on the drop slide oh, definitely not going <laughs> on the drop slide I'll never go uh, <laughs> well yeah there's perfect um, placements here now of course all the configurations with windows do change some of them you will have windows all the way across I think that would be the ultimate so literally you could be over here and okay. see the volcano obviously for us we haven't just got the curtains um, shut for no reason really like there's no windows or anything there it's just wall behind that part and um, so I think that would have been the only improvement for this one however I do know that quite a few of them had the windows all the way across that's the thing with Universal, you're in the heart of Orlando and yeah, you can see you've got the kind of midway area over there where you've got the slingshot and also you can see the star flyer and also the big wheel down at Icon Park as well. But yeah, brilliant view that is and at night it all lights up which does look incredible as well and yeah, we'll definitely show you that um, at the end of this vlog. But yeah, lovely in here. Let's show you around the rest of the room then, shall we? Well, let's take you around. So we've got two big beds. Hey. Oh, I slept so so well last night. We had a bed each last night because we'd had a long flight. We wanted to make sure that we got loads of sleep, but I'm sure we'll be back together tonight. I reckon so. We might go on that one so I don't hear the drums. I did. It's quite funny because I woke up and Sean was like, did you hear the drums? I did not hear them at all. Yeah. Was <laughs> it was quite loud. And I didn't yeah, yeah, I'm not too sure on that early on in the morning, but uh, it was like 7.30, it was doom, 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 doom. But the thing is, you can sit right here and that is your view. Like, literally, I can have my Starbucks here oh. looking out. I mean, that is perfect. It's, it's lovely sat right here. It really is. Um, comment down below, though, if you've stayed here. Let us know what your view was like, you know, in comparison. You know, do you have windows all the way across? Were you in the other tower on the right, looking at the side? Interested to know with that one. 
With this room, there is so many compartments, which is absolutely fantastic. We've got the drawer under there that I've got my pajamas in. We've got a drawer underneath that I've just got a few little bits in. We've got the phone. The only thing I don't like, I don't like the clock. Yeah, the clock doesn't work either, actually. It yeah, work. it's not uh, 6 30 in the morning, uh, it's like 11 o'clock. And, uh, and then we've got all this space down here, which is great. I think there's a fridge in there, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, there is. Yeah, a little fridge. A nice fridge in there, if I can open it. There we go. That's quite nice. Then you've got all these drawers, we've got all our clothes in here. Yeah. This is good. Two drawers each. We've had it. I'm going to use one. Oh, have you? Well, I've got a fan in that one. So yeah. Not nice fan, but there is just so much storage, which is brilliant. TV over there as well. LG flat screen, nice TV, which is good. We've got the coffee maker, and like we mentioned, you can have stuff delivered to your room. You can have pizza delivered, but I think you do have to pay extra to have it delivered. Oh, they oh, it's till midnight. I thought it was all night, but yeah, there you go. It's till midnight where you can get that, um, which is good. And of course, you've got an ice bucket there as well, um, which is quite handy. But yeah, beds are very nice, large and comfortable. I do like the, how colourful the back is over here, and also the uh, lighting fixtures oh, are nice over so here. It's the cool. second time you've had a light down in this I vlog know. yeah 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 these lighting fixtures are quite funky because you can kind of you know just have it you know whichever bit on you want which is yeah, quite nice turning all the lights off yeah on my it was like eight switches to, to turn all that on but yeah i just thought i'd put them on for you um for, for the video just so you can see that but yeah it's, it's, it's nice in here i really like it i can think view wise it would have been amazing if you walked in here and the volcano was right there i mean you see that in all the kind of promo shots and that sort of thing. But still, not every room is gonna have that. For us, when you walk down here, you kind of get that reveal just around the side, which I'm certainly not complaining about. It is very nice. Air conditioning unit in there, it's on 22. That's very comfortable. Worth pointing out, it's actually a quite a quiet air conditioning unit. Some of them are really blasting out loud. This one's very quiet. A lot of the time, you find that you get that massive AC unit and it's just so noisy. Yeah, this one, I it's, hear it yeah, at all. I mean, the hotel only opened in 2014, you know, so it's all got the modern facilities, um, which is great. And it's very spacious. I mean, like you can see here, this little kind of hallway area, you know, you can put loads of luggage just over here too, which is fantastic. Got me Crocs in there. Hey. <laughs> but I do like how you've got an iron and an ironing board. Yes, yeah, so this is the main wardrobe just over here. You've got storage at the top. I suppose you could move that extra bed in if you wanted to put your cases mm. and things up there. Um, ironing board, quite a few coat hangers just for really important stuff. As you can see, I haven't got any really important <laughs> stuff and we've not used it. <laughs> Some back other luggage storage down there as well. And it, it opens both ways, this does, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, so you can just push it over both ways. Which is quite yeah. nice. Yeah. What I love is this setup here for the bathroom because this is so nice and spacious, isn't it? Like, it look is. at this. Like, not having the door onto this just makes it a lot more spacious to come into. Yeah, I like not having a door here. I do as well, because you can just literally just walk in, which is brilliant. Yeah, it's great. And a also, the time, they have the sliding doors across. You got some great storage, like just in here, built into the sides, it's which is great. Straighteners. I'm really pleased because my straighteners have worked, which is great. <laughs> yeah, normally you've had issues, haven't you, in the past? Yeah, but I've got the dual voltage one, so they worked fine. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, it's a nice kind of basin area just here. There's another big shelf of storage underneath, plenty of towels. Uh, of course, they do come with some uh, amenities, but we bring our own stuff anyway. But yeah, you get like shower gel and soaps and stuff like that. Nice uh, functioning taps just there, big mirror. And more fancy lights and these ones you can't switch on individually <laughs> does that <laughs> but uh, and then of course you're into the uh, bathroom got another nice mirror on the wall there which is good i like having that on there yeah and then here's the bath quite a small bath it's something that always surprised me in america the baths are tiny aren't they like in a lot of these hotels it's yeah, not even worth having no one. no but you got the bath and then the shower which is great had a shower this morning very nice really shower is. And yeah, it comes with some uh, VO5 shampoo. I'm surprised it's not branded to Universal or the resort, actually. Normally, you get that. It's like even you stay like Alton Tower and stuff back home, you do get the branded stuff, but no, it's just kind of standard um, what you get in here. Uh, and along with that, nice colourful blue wall with loads of towels, and of course, your toilet down there as well with, uh, yeah, quite a toilet roll. You roll. also get a hair dryer, but just bear in mind, it takes years to dry your hair. <laughs> it takes so long. A long, long time. Job. Oh, fantastic. But there you go. That's a view like I said, this is literally just a standard room with the uh, Volcano Bay view, which I am really pleased about. Um, it is fantastic. You might have also noticed you've got this door here. It'd be a connecting room, this one, for if you're booking two, you can go through. There's nothing through there for us to see today. We've only just got if one. If you've got a group, you can just join it. Yeah, which is fantastic. But no, overall, it's very spacious. I've come all the way over here. Loads of room. It's a nice carpet. It kind of looks a bit like the sea. Nice throws on the bed. Down again. And of course, the highlight being that view. You can literally sit over here and it is perfect 
looking out at that view. Well, I am very impressed with Cabana Bay. It is a beautiful hotel, it really is. And it's got a nice style to it, a nice vibe. It's not particularly heavily themed, but what it's got is really nice with all the color schemes. You've got like all the rocks, all the planting, the landscaping of it all. And it just feels like that kind of beachside retreat here, doesn't it? I just absolutely love it. It's just got such feel good vibes. But before we came, I didn't realize the scale this hotel was gonna be. It is massive. Yeah, because when you think you've got that whole courtyard area with the first pool, then got all the lobby area and we still haven't shown you like the bowling area and stuff as well we'll show you that later and then of course you've got the two big towers and then this other courtyard over here so it's a massive resort um it really is and uh, yeah of course it's really fresh it's got a lovely feel about it the views are awesome and for a standard room i think this is great like, as well the room is really good it's just so spacious as well which is fantastic now we're going to go and head over onto the park shortly so i'm just going to talk about the transportation options and just how that works because of course this is an on-site hotel here and it's connected by by a free shuttle bus that runs maybe every 10 minutes um, down to the parks and of course it drops you off at that main kind of central area where you've got the security check and then you straight through into city walk and the two parks of course a volcano bay five minute walk maximum not even that i don't think from where like, we are that is so convenient like especially if you've got like swim stuff just coming back and then quickly getting changed there is other options though if you want to you can walk all the way down to city walk and uh, yeah it's about a 15 minute walk never done that before we might do it at some point whilst we're here uh, and of course you get some nice views going down at the park i'd imagine and also along with that there is another option too and that's actually crossing over the road because like i said earlier you've got aventura there and also sapphire falls and sapphire falls is connected by the waterways and you can get on the water taxis so for about five minute walk from your room here we can cross over the road and jump on the water taxis if you do want to as well the water taxi is so good it just really makes your experience yeah it does and of course yeah you can just cross over and uh, yeah go in there and, and get that if you do want to so yeah they don't kind of ask you to, to show anything that you're staying in sapphire falls or anything because obviously people come down to the hotels for drinks and restaurants when they're not even staying here you know so that's an option that's available as well I just wanted to get that in there and we like the water taxis uh, a lot and I think for us this time especially doing Halloween Horror Nights it's open till 2am the fact we can just come straight back here after is ideal isn't it's it? It's just so convenient because a lot of the time you have to go and go upstairs and get an Uber and it could just take so long to get back it's so convenient to get back here the bus there was literally one waiting last night and we was literally straight in. Yeah it, it was good we was like in a, in a house in the park in a scare maze back to the hotel in like less than 30 minutes Not which for all. us is fantastic but uh, anyway we're going to go and head out and check out the parks of course we've got vlogs coming from all the parks new additions here at Universal Universal, uh, and they're going to be coming up shortly. However, uh, yeah, we're going to continue on here later on, give you a bit of a tour around the bowling, and also show you the view at night as well. So we'll see you all a little bit later. Yeah. And we're back out now, having a stroll around Cabana Bay. And yeah, just noticed this big mural up on the wall there, which is nice. Yeah, you've actually got a little milkshake place over here. I missed this earlier on. That's good. I'll definitely try a shake at some point. You know me, I love a good milkshake. That's good to see. And it's a little bit later on now, so that Chucky walkthrough is open. So we're going to go and check out that and also the bowling area as well. So we're going to go upstairs and go and have a little walk through that now. Are you excited to see it? Oh, look to it. Chucky. Oh. <laughs> this is make our way upstairs. Another view of your Starbucks there. I do like how you've got all the coffee cups on the wall. I think that looks quite good. Nice effects. Make our way upstairs, go and see the bowling area. Very nice in here. Oh, look at this. Galaxy Bowl. Oh, I like the neon kind of retro vibe of this. Hey, look at the old school sides. Oh, that's great. Game of Rama. Oh, massive arcade in here. And it's got a prize shop over there too. What a classic prize shop. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This is good. Quite a large arcade all the way down. And this connects onto a small bar area. Oh, how nice is this? And of course, you've got the bowling area down here. Galaxy Bowl. Oh, this is brilliant. I love how this is actually in the resort. You don't need to go to City Walk. You don't need to go anywhere else. Literally, you can have a night in here, can't you? Which is brilliant. Oh, this is so retro, I love it. Yeah, and that's what they've gone for. It's modern, but retro too. Love it. Yeah, it really fits the theme of the hotel. And there's all your lanes. Ten lanes down here of 10-pin bowling. All your nice balls down here as well. Nice shiny bowling balls. Oh, look at the lights. They're quite cool. That's a nice effect. Down here onto the table, and then you've got a great Galaxy Bowl photo opportunity. Yeah, this is a really nice space in here. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. I didn't even know if it was going to be like full size temping bowling or it was going to be like the little bowlingo, the mini ones. Yeah, that's brilliant, that. 
Now in terms of the pricing for the bowl, I've just asked, so you get 45 minutes and it's just under $20 per person, so it is quite pricey. Yeah, I suppose you are on a resort though. Yeah, and it's the convenience of it as well, which is fantastic. But yeah, we're going to head into Chucky's Twisted Playground now, free for hotel guests. And so yeah, of course, this is just here for Halloween. Oh, oh look at this. Very spooky in here. Yeah, let's check our hotel room card. It's a nice little walkthrough. Wow. I love all these photo opportunities in here. It's got quite an ambience, hasn't it? That mood's just changed straight away, hasn't it? From being in such a fun like hotel into like a really creepy vibe. The killer doll. Chucky. <laughs> Team members just come over and told us that this is a really good angle. And yeah, that's brilliant. It looks like Chucky has pushed Charlotte off the side of these buildings. Are you okay, Charlotte? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Optical illusion. Ooh. And of course, this year, a Halloween Horror Night, you've got the Chucky house. Very well themed in here. What's going on? The yard sale. Look at all these dolls down here. Creepy. Oh, he's got a little hat on. Chucky. That's quite, he looks like quite a nice doll. What do you think? Don't trust him, Sean. I like how they do this, though, for hotel guests. I love it. Uh, this oh, is great. Gives you an idea on how good the theming is as well for Halloween Horror Nights. Very cool. Chucky. Oh, wow. What have we got in here, Charlotte? Chucky. Going to explore around this corner. Ooh. Oh, this is a cool one. Oh, wow. All the mirrors in here. Oh, Charlotte, we've been taken over here by Chucky. The question is, which one is the real Sean and Charlotte? <laughs> so creepy. There's his box just there. Good guys. There's nothing good about him, he's so evil. <laughs> oh, he's down here as well. And another fantastic optical illusion over here as well. You've got to stand in the right spot. It also line up, so it's kind of somewhere over here. How is it? Yeah. Kind of like that there. We're looking. Oh, that looks pretty good. But I'm not too sure from this way. That's a nice effect. And back out into 50s and 60s America. Oh, how was that for you? Oh, that was really good. They change the theme up with this every year. Um, that's the first time we've ever seen it. That was really good. Yeah, very impressed with that. And it's yeah. free as well for hotel guests. Which is really good to show your hotel room card and then you can go in. Well, we've had a good tour around today here at Cabana Bay. Uh, to start our time here at Universal. Uh, but we're going to head down towards the parks now. And of course, that's going to be coming up in the next few days here. Uh, but yeah, we're going to come back later and just show you a little bit of night, including that view of the volcano from our room in the dark so we'll see you a little bit later oh well here we are then back at cabana bay beach resorts and yeah just thought i'd show you the sign out here at night so that looks awesome the kind of neon vibes we've got going on there let me give you a zoom in looking at that i do love the retro feel of this hotel resort let's go and check out our room at night with the awesome view of the volcano and we're back in the bay liner diner just here now yeah start to show you what they've got on the menu when it's not breakfast, cheeseburgers just there, chicken tenders. 11.49 for the chicken tenders, the fries. Shrimp stir fry just over there. Enjoy a world of taste. Like I said, this is open really late, 3 a.m. during Horror Nights, which is fantastic. Pepperoni pizza up there as well, 13.85. Yeah, and it's an 11 o'clock close for that on normal nights. Yeah, like I say, Horror Nights, 3 a.m., crazy. Fantastic, what have you got there, Charlotte? Starburst. Oh, nice little Starburst. It's been crazy them all day, haven't you? Oh, wow. <laughs> right, let's go and show you the view from the room. And here we are then, back in our room. And before we wrap up the vlog here from Cabana Bay Beach Resort, just wanted to show you this amazing view of the volcano there at night. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And of course, we're going to be visiting Volcano Bay. So stay tuned for that vlog that's going to be coming up. Here on Theme Park Worldwide. Oh, I can look at that view all night. It's the perfect place to just sit here in the window, looking out at that, doing some editing. Oh, beautiful. 
And that's going to do it for our vlog here from Cabana Bay Beach Resort. Staying here for the first time, it's a beautiful hotel, it really is, isn't Oh, it's it? absolutely lovely. I just really love the feel of this resort. Of course, the room is fantastic looking out at the volcano, especially at night with all the lighting on there. I can confirm it stays on all night, that lighting as well, which is good. I got up just to see it. Um, yeah, that's really nice. And of course, the view is brilliant. Like I said earlier at the start, I think the, you could get some better views probably in the tower next door here. However, I'm certainly not complaining with that view. Yeah, if you sat on this little table, you get a fantastic view. Oh, it's brilliant. It really is. Um, but yeah, I think the only negative with that is, of course, the noise on the morning. Like I said, about 7.30, you will hear the drums and everything from the uh, volcano. And yeah, it is quite loud. It has woke me up on the morning. I think it's a little bit too early to be doing that. Yeah, I do like the theme stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's a bit too early because you can hear it really loud, even though we're still quite far back from the volcano. Um, other things to point out, this resort, it is massive. And if you are staying down at this end, uh, it is quite a walk down to the other side, like the reception and all that. It does take like five to seven minutes to walk to the reception uh, and down to the other end. But luckily, with it having two pools, you've only got to go downstairs to get to a pool on this side. So as that's well. not too bad at all. You haven't yeah. got to do that massive walk all the way back. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, yeah, it's a big resort, this one. But it's really nice. Uh, like I say, it's not particularly got loads of theming, but it's well landscaped. It's got a nice vibe about it. I do like the kind of 1950s, 60s American vibe of it. And it does feel like an actual beach resort. It's really Really nice. Uh, the pool area is great as well. We've not had a chance to go into it yet, but we will do during our stay. And of course, you've got that direct access to Volcano Bay, which we're going to be making the most of and heading into the water park as well. So, of course, stay tuned for that vlog coming up here on Theme Park Worldwide. And that's the thing, we're just getting started with this. Uh, we're going to be making our way into the parks next. We've got Halloween Horror Nights coming up. Um, of course, we're going to be checking out the new Minion Blast attraction. And of course, yeah, full vlogs from both the parks and City Walk as well. There's just so much coming up, which is fantastic. It's going to be amazing. It really is, but yeah, definitely recommend this hotel. Uh, I would stay here at some point in the future, just maybe go down the other end uh, and sacrifice the view. Um, just so when we come back from Halloween or nights at like two in the morning, uh, we can lie in a bit We're not later. The drums yeah, because it is quite loud that one. But uh, there we go. It's a great resort. I definitely recommend it and a good price that we paid for it as well. Loads more content coming up. We can't wait to see you in the other vlogs. But for tonight, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you tomorrow.